It's time for Real Trash. Real Trash. Boronet Films, the regional bagged cereal of studios. <laughs> The hell kind of a game are they watching? Trash! Balloon! Industry! Industry wins! Woo! Oh man, good game, but I was really rooting for trash, I gotta say. I'm nervous. It's never good when Coronet tries to be artsy. Hi, I'm Springfield. My name is Pat Curtis, and this is me, just a few months before my 18th birthday. When I will hopefully reach puberty. David fell, man. Oh, no, he did? Yeah, he's hurt pretty bad, man. <laughs> On June 30th, 1971... 11 million Americans between the ages of 18 and 21 suddenly became eligible to vote. After being bitten by radioactive voting the eligibility. The Amendment to the Constitution joined three others which have broadened the base of our democracy. The 15th Amendment. Why are they playing the music from Psycho? The 19th Amendment. On account of sex, also the reason I did anything at all from ages 16 to 25. The 24th Amendment. Allowing photos from the Great Depression to vote. And with the 26th Amendment, youth power became a new political force in America. The youth immediately voted for more soda pop and candy. That's what it's all about. I've already called somebody at the registration office to find out how. Well, if he calls here, he probably talked to me. I told him what I tell everyone. Shut up and leave me alone. Excuse me. Registration office. Is that near the place of registration? Well, you can register if you'll be 18, on or before the day of the next election. No, no, you don't need your birth certificate. But if you were born in another country, you do need to bring in your citizenship papers. Or other evidence of citizenship. But if you want a real ID, uh, you'll need every document you've ever touched. vary from state to state, <laughs> and often within a state. You can find out what they are by calling your local government office. Your local government office, right by your local business location center and your local place of food obtainment. <laughs> Right, they're leaving. We get it. A lot of important things are going on these days, and most of them have to do with government. When you get right down to it, government is voters. Oh, like how Soylent Green is people. Take the police. Since the police work for the local government, they work for the local voters. And that means when you vote, you've got some say in the matter. Like, how should they deal with the public during disturbances? Tear gas or lots of tear then gas? There's government at the state level. Like, shouldn't we have lower tuition at the state colleges and universities? And there's national government. Like, is space exploration worth what it costs? Sure, the moon landing was only two years ago, but, you know, what else you got? And a lot of things have to do with government on all the levels. How are we going to rebuild the city? It's all up to this dog and this brave little girl. How are we going to solve race problems? Poorly! And how should the drug problem be handled? Can we codify Don't Bogart That Blunt into law? And consumer protection. And transportation problems. I don't know. Looks like things are moving okay. <laughs> and pollution problems. And war. How can we do lots, lots more of it? That's off script, you young psycho! We talk about these things a lot, but now we've got a chance to do something about them. But we can vote only if we register. Teens are natural registerers anyway, so it won't be a problem. Sometime before an election. For many states, 30 days is the restricted period. Except for this, you can register almost any time in most states. Okay, fine. Be that way, punk. 
Raise your right hand, please. Do you solemnly swear or affirm that the statements you are making are true? I do. Okay, I'll fill this in and then you can sign it. Registering procedure varies, but essentially, it's just a matter of filling out forms. Is the narrator that tall, gawky kid years later, a la Wonder Years, remembering as a bitter divorced dad how idealistic he once was? Uh, no. Thanks for clarifying. Mm -hmm. Hi. I read that in some places they were giving kids a rough time. Ah, he just finished but Oliver I Twist. Heard about anybody having trouble where I live. Pat's friends are registering in their home communities using their home addresses. But what about students who live away from home at college? What is their home address? And no, the Woodstock students Nation is not an acceptable answer. A large part of the population. If they vote there, some of the local people are concerned that they might lose control of their own communities. Well, frankly, this is our town. This is Thornton Wilder, folks. to have us coming into their town telling them what to do. Well, we don't like it here either. I think they ought to vote where they live and not here. Well, we do live here most of the year round and care what does go on in this community. This community, so uh, what's its name again? Like something Berg? There are other people who live here just a short length of time and not permanently, and they're able to vote. Yes, I think it's all right for students to vote. It gives them a better chance to see how the government is run. Oh, stabbed an artery. My bad. In a few places, registration has been difficult for students. But most often, new voters like Pat Curtis have no trouble registering. His bland waxiness makes it easy. I want to register in time for that. That's why we're talking a lot now about who to vote for. We're trying to make up our minds. But we keep getting distracted by the increasing flare width in bell-bottom pants fashion. A lot of people try to help you make up your mind during election campaigns. You've seen all this before, but when it's aimed at you, you have to make an effort to study the candidates and the issues. Or just eeny, meeny, miny, mo that. Up to you! A bunch more Rump. names of people, Rump. candidates who died a long time ago. Well, unless they're in the Senate, in which case they've now been there 70 plus years. <laughs> And MSNBC watchers all have strokes at the name Donald. It's hard to really know all you want about people you know. who are running for election. For instance, how they stand on women's lib, or welfare, or pollution. And have they memorized Mao's little red book? One way is to keep an eye out for the public statements candidates make. What do they say about public issues? Public issues? I'm all for them, folks. Vote for me. <laughs> Voters affect public issues through the people who hold public office. Learning the attitudes and programs of candidates makes your vote more effective. Exciting issues like space travel and Norwich. I guess. Colin questioned it because he was still in the house. Safety probes for aliens in training. Asked what? <laughs> I forgot, man. Well, that's a great idea. Kids need a post-recess martini. You don't have to join a political party to register or vote. But you may want to, if the party seems to reflect your own ideas and points of view. Supporting a political party allows your ideas to have more impact. As long as it's one of two. <laughs> I'm going to be ready to vote when the time comes. All of us are. We're one-issue voters. Norwich. Voting itself is very easy. Newspapers, radio, and television will tell you when to vote. The place you bought batteries from eight years ago will send you and daily you emails where, reminding you, you to vote. You can find the location of your polling place by calling your local government office. It's even more depressing than my wildest dreams. Okay, now grab that roll of stickers and run! First, you identify yourself by signing your name and address. 
Slip them a 20 and they'll let you vote all day. Clearly a three-person job. <laughs> the election judges check the rolls to make sure you're eligible. The blonde woman is so jealous of her hair highness. That's an altitude there. You may vote by paper ballot, by voting machine, or both. Vote both if you want to go to jail. If you use a paper ballot, be careful to mark it properly. A wang is not proper, but the hilarious. Mark the box of your choice. An improperly marked ballot will be thrown out, and your vote will not be counted. I'm voting for Pat Paulson. If you vote by machine, you'll find instructions on it. Pull to drown a puppy? Whoa! Glad I read the fine print. There may also be a demonstration model of the machine in the polling place. If you have any questions, an election judge will help you. Questions like, which Weasley brother am I? We're going to register, and we're going to vote. <laughs> And we're going to have our say in the things that are going on. Kid, who'd you vote for? I'm a haunted house and I approve this message. The theme music from your local news, Democracy. Another successful Milgram experiment. Coronet defeats Truman. Vote Norwich. It's time for real tracks. Copyright by Rift Tracks. All rights reserved.